All right, now listen, joining us on the program right now, very pleased to have with us Congressman Paul Gozer from Arizona. Congressman, how are you, sir? I'm doing good, Cam. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Listen, it's uh, it's great to have you here. And um, I want to talk to you about the, uh, you, you have an amendment to the Water Resources Reform and Development Act. Uh, and I confess, Congressman, I don't know anything at all about that bill. Well, this is about our water resources bill uh, that uh, looks at infrastructure projects and Army Corps of Engineers and stuff like that. Okay. And so uh, what this does is is that back in the 111th Congress, they passed a uh, a law that allows firearms on uh, uh, National Park Service lands and wild refuges uh, areas uh, for self-protection. But there was a glitch. There was a loophole that allowed uh, the Army Corps of Engineers that controls over 11 and a half million acres, um, not to allow someone to carry a firearm. And this will actually, my amendment will actually close that loophole and restore uh, commonality uh, on most of the public lands in regards to carrying a firearm. Okay, so was it was it a mistake? Uh, to, well, to it was just left out. Or? It was a, it was a, it was left out of the language, and uh, instead of you know trying to um, make it work for everybody, the Army Corps of Engineers has been stalwart in trying to minimize gun owners uh, on their jurisdiction. And uh, you know we've we've done this uh, through appropriations bills through Energy and Commerce. Um, I did this in the 112th Congress. It was passed unanimously to, that uh, uh, did not allow them to enforce that aspect. But this will actually put a permanence in the law. Okay, so this would this would be something you would not have to go back through and, and do every year then. That's right. That, that's what this resource bill will actually do. Okay. Um, all right, and so you've got the amendment to the bill. Where is the bill right now? Well, it will be coming up on the floor, so the amendments will be you know, taken care of tomorrow. Um, so uh, it's in the Rules Committee, and, and it's ready to be uh, amended uh, and have floor discussion tomorrow. So this will be a big boost to our Second Amendment folks, particularly on public lands with um, uh, Army Corps of Engineers. It's campgrounds, 400-some lakes, and 11 and a half, uh, million acres that, that would be accessible for those that, that are enjoying it that, that want to carry a sidearm. Uh, okay, and, and where? how much support does uh, your amendment have right now, Congressman? Do gun owners need to uh, contact their representatives? Yeah, they should. I mean, we never take any chances. It's the same as we did in the 112, but uh, we've got, uh, like, the NRA, Gun Owners of America, Safari Club, all those good groups are supporting it. Um, but it never hurts to get involved to, to let Congress know, um, you know, how we feel about our Second Amendment and, and enforcing it and allowing us uh, access across the board on public lands. Absolutely. And, you know, we, we did see during the, uh, the, the, the government shutdown uh, that there were a lot of lands that, we had we had we had listeners and viewers, uh, Congressman, tell us, uh, you know, I've, we've never seen a single human being here at this Bureau of Land Management facility, but all of a sudden the gates are closed. I can't get access to the uh, to the range, uh, and so we know, uh, you know, during the government shutdown, we had 150 million acres plus of uh, public land that was shut off to hunters and sportsmen. When the government is up and running, we uh, we would expect that this land would be available uh, to us at least in terms of being able to exercise our right of self defense on, yeah, on this, uh, this property. Absolutely, and what we saw was an administration that wanted to hurt the American public, and it should never have done that. Um, they could have worked collaboratively uh, with states um, to utilize their resources to keep those open, like we did in Arizona. Uh, this isn't the first time it happened. There was already a template from the 90s. Um, but it, it, it just shows you the disregard and the disrespect that the government has for the people of which it's, it serves. And so it, it, we have to take a, a learning lesson for this and make sure that... Um, uh, we pass uh, laws that, uh, you know, hold them accountable, but also make sure that they enforce those laws. That's one of the things we're seeing with this administration, as we've talked so many times before, the lack of, uh, of a law-abiding attorney general in, the, in this country. Uh, yes, indeed. And I know we'll be talking about that again uh, as well. Congressman, listen, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. It's always a pleasure having you on the show, and hopefully we get a chance to do it again soon. Always a pleasure. Thanks, Cam. You bet, sir. Uh, Congressman Paul Gozer from Arizona.